anyway, I'm just, I've got my stick here for, for we'll be using a little bit. I'm just holding on to it. So I'm just dancing back and forth, trying to figure out what the camera's adjusted or not. I'll try this one. Too much. Can't wait till I get my own cameraman. So back and forth. Nice big steps, nice slow. I actually would like you to kind of stop in between, make sure you got a good balance, and then kind of push yourself off to the other side. Step, stop, push yourself off, and try to balance one leg. Now, as you're just doing this, stick over, stick overhead. Same thing. Try not to pay attention to the stick. I'm pulling, I'm pulling, again, I'm pulling my shoulders back, my scapulas together as much as I can. Pulling the stick overhead. So I've got a little bit of tension up there. I don't want that tension to go down into the legs. Feet together. Put the stick in front. Just this stick is kind of right now. Just kind of it's a measuring tool. Kind of keep it's kind of kind of keeping my hopefully I'm trying to keep my body kind of all in line together. And I'm turning from the hips. I'm not. I'm, I'm trying not to kind of let the bar go past me. See how this show it went past me. I'm trying to turn. I turn my chest with the bar so I can kind of, my chest can still see the bar. And put the, my shoulders now behind here. And here I'm trying to actually turn below the hips as much as I can. So you, might, you can see my knees kind of twitching, turning direction here. And then a little bit of a low lunge. Don't push this, don't go ballistic. Don't go push it past what you're comfortable. These are small muscles. Feet together, somewhere at the end of your stick here. I'll kind of be off, off from here. I'm going to, I'm going to, walk, I'm going to be facing forward. I'm going to write my name in cursive with my stick. So you can see J A C K. You get, I'm trying to keep the stick in front of me. I'm just controlling the stick from one end, writing my name out here at the other end. If your name is a short name, like Mark, add some other letters. So again, I'm looking for nice control here. Both, both hands are controlling. Then we'll switch sides. And again, if your stick is heavier, like Jenny's stick, grab it more toward the middle. But again, I'm looking for control. And if you write it forward one way, write it backwards the other way. Just like Leonardo da Vinci. I think he was the one who wrote it backwards. Okay, now you're just gonna, now you're just gonna, you tilt, the tilt, you tilt up and then down, back to the middle, up, down. This is a control. 
You know, I've got a weight that's kind of out in front of me. If I need to bring my I need to bring my arms in a little bit here to control it, that's fine. Other than that, your arms straight away, not straight up front. Go to the other end. Sit down. I'm trying to use both hands to do it. I'm not, I'm not trying to just drop one hand. I'm trying to push both hands down and bend both hands up. And last thing here is circles. Just do about two circles. Each, and go two circles to the other way. Nice, try to make big circles. And then do, do the other side too. I forgot about the other side here. So nice big circles. And here's where you might want to use your cushion. So we're going down the floor. I'm on my knees here. And I'm just going to sit back and then come up, pushing, pushing my hips forward here. Sitting back, straight back. I'm not round, I'm not rounding my back. And coming up forward. Let's do something with the hands here. Let's count with the hands. So, two, three, four, and five. Now I want you to count with one hand here and two on the other one. So go back and forth, adding one digit each time you go. And you don't have to do my pace, you can do your own pace here. So coming forward here, walking your hands out from the knees and walking your hands back. Sitting up, so walking your hands out here. Really try to kind of put weight on one hand, weight on the other. Back and forth. Now I'm coming up to plank. Let's check our planks out now. And right now, let's just, if we're coming to plank here, let's kind of just dip the, the, the hips side to side here. So same thing, I'm transferring the weight from hand to hand. So kind of twisting, turning my hips, tilting them to left and right, and then take a break, the child's pose. Back to child's pose. You guys know what comes next. And we're gonna do some power planks here. Can't see Dennis, so I'll, I'll, I'll guess what Dennis is gonna say today. Unless you can call, hold some fingers, Dennis. Um, oh, five, five, okay. The power, first planks are going to be 15 seconds on, 10 seconds off. You're in child's pose right now. And first plank, let's come up, up, 15 seconds. This is our warm-up plank. Kind of tighten some stuff up here, move around. This one should not be hard. 15 seconds is easy. And ho, take a break. Come back to child's pose or anything else you want. Breathe, breathe. Now we start to make them harder. Number two. Come up to plank. Again, tighten it, move it, switch, transfer weight transfers between the arms, legs, anything. And number two is ho, down with two. Take a rip. Start breathing, breathe, breathe, breathe. Relax, shake your shoulders a little bit. Coming up to number three, let's go. We're on the point number three. This one you should be starting to breathe a little harder. You need to make it difficult for you. Two 
three, two, one, and ho! Two more, two more. And number four, hop! Into power plank, whatever it takes to, to get you to breathe hard and work that core, or around that core, or through that core. And ho, one more, one more. Relaxing is really important here. It's a, it's a technique, it's a skill. Not enough time now. Ready? Last one. Hop. Last 15 seconds on power planks. Hold, 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 but do not hold your breathing. Not your breathing. And ho! Back to child's pose, back to child's pose. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay. Turning over, sitting on your mat, on your, on your cushion. And I moved the camera and I played with the camera and I made a problem. What I'm looking for here is laying down and coming up. Nice, simple. Cushion, if you have a cushion with you, it's going to make it a little harder. So let's go back a little further. And again, you can use your hands here if you need to. Nice and slow, smooth, smooth. Coming up to sitting. So I'm sitting cross-legged here. I'm gonna just bend forward. Straight forward, flat back here. Bend to the front. I bend across one, toward one knee. Then I bend toward the other knee. Flat back. Don't pull too hard, don't bounce. Let me stand it up, bring one weight with you. Right here, I have my, I have my cushion. I'm gonna just step on the cushion and raise up and then come down and then change legs. I'm not changing arms, I'm just changing legs. So the other knee comes up now and come down again. If you don't have a cushion, just do it with that one. Oh. Alternating legs, same arm. And I, I don't care if it's a heavyweight or lightweight, just something that you know, kind of challenges you a little bit. Switch hands. Just keep the alternating feet thing going. And if you need to use your stick here for balance, that's okay too. Okay, take a breather here. Just side to side, some side to side motion here. Kind of feet spread and kind of 
I'm gonna, I, guess, I feel like I'm doing an elephant. And I'm turning from my I'm trying to turn from my trunk, but the weight kind of pushed me a little bit. I'm a golfer. This I feel very familiar. Okay. Next one here is a. Right now, it's just going to be a simple reverse step lunge here. I'm just going to hold the weight. I'm not going to do anything with the weight yet. I'm moving my cushion out of the way. I am stepping back. And then just bringing the back back knee toward the ground a little bit and then coming up. Just do say one leg here, stepping back. And what I want you to try to do here is lift the foot up and try to try to go back even further. And switch shift out and go even further back and push up. So let's try it again. So push the foot out, then lift the toe up, and move up again. So you kind of go out further back. So I step back. And I kind of hop, hop, pushing that foot back, hop, hop. And then and the last thing I do here is push up to, to standing. So I take a step back and then I kind of do a weight transfer here. So the foot goes, there's a chance to go back even further. Bring the knee down as far as I'm comfortable. And then come back up. Step back. Weight transfer. Just kind of hop back. Step back. Hop, hop, and then knee down. Let's switch legs. Same thing. I'm stepping back and I'm transferring the weight kind of forward and back to allow that back foot to kind of travel a little bit more. Again, if you want a little, little, little safer stance, do a, wide, do a wider stance here, kind of with, your, with more of an X pattern and do a straight line pattern. You want more challenge with balance. I step back and I hop. Hop. Then I go down with the knee down. And then I push up by the back foot into the front foot. And I take as much break as I need before I do it again. Get back. Hop. Hop. Okay, takes us to our first break. We got about a couple, we got about two minutes here. Grab some water, move around. Yell at me, scream at me. All those are good. If any challenges, let me know. My chat window is, is the, my email address, so you can send complaints there. I'll probably just forward them to Dennis. Looks like you guys are raring to go. Must be cooped up on a Monday. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the camera back over on the monitor because I'm I don't like sitting. I like how I kind of sit in front of the monitor looking at it. Um, okay, we're gonna stay with the dumbbells here. And 
We did this one last week. In this case, I would like two dumbbells or two hand weights, I should probably say. Just anything can do with hand weights. So this is a dumbbell squat to a press to a 90 degree turn. But let's just do the first one simple here. Go down as far as you're comfortable here. Again, I'm looking to get that butt back here. Shoulder press and then press up and down. And let the weights down easily. All the way down, if you're comfortable, if you go to the ground, that's great. If not, don't worry about it. Up the shoulders. Just kind of do a little, kind of a little pump step with your knees. Up overhead, back down, and slowly down. And again, I like that slow down where it's controlled. So you're just not going to fall here. Up, then I press my shoulder and press them overhead. Again, I have a little knee, that little knee pop that pushes the weight overhead, and I let them slowly down. And I'm slowly with. Okay, I want to add one thing to this now. Same thing. Let me do a 90 degree turn at the end. So up, pop up, and then down. Before I go down, I'm turning 90 degrees. So make it a separate move right now for the turn. Up, turn, and down. So nice and slow. Make them kind of a unique pieces of the move here. I don't care which way you turn. Just turn. Okay, right now just hit, let the shoulder weights just hang in your hand for a second, walk for a second. So this time we're gonna go through the same thing, but you're gonna to try to make the 90 degree turn as a part of the same time that you're pushing the weights up and down. So what I'm doing here is I get the weight to the shoulders, so as I push up, I'm turning and down. So before I had a separate action, now I have up, down, and then stepping and turning and pressing the weights up at the same time. You're multitasking, okay? so. So nice squat, bring to the shoulders, and press up and turn at the same time, and everything else is the same. So. Okay, take a walk for a second, just walk, we'll keep the weights in your hand. I'd like you to try to just walk right now and let the weights kind of kind of control your motion. You're walking and letting the weights go back and forth, which kind of would throw you off balance if you weren't being really careful. Next one. So the first, the first part of the move here is kind of feet together, and I'm going to bring them up to my armpits, and then let them back down. So again, the trick here in this one is to do it from your back. Do it from the pulling the clavicles together. You're pulling them together. You're not letting the, the, the shoulders come up, but you're pulling them back together, and then the weights will come to your, will come to your armpits. Okay. 
do I do it from behind my my back here more than I do than anything else. Now what we're going to do is this part two part here is I'm going to step to the side and bring them up and then down. And I'm going to step the other side, same thing, up and down. And so up and I've got again right here when I when I step out, I've got a little bit of a squat going. Again, I want you to check your, make sure you're doing it from the, 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 the high pole. I'm going to make sure you're doing it from the back. I'm not rounding forward. And again, if the weights get heavy, put them down. Now let's put the weights down. We're coming to come, we're going to come down the floor again. So I'm getting starting all fours here. Right now, I'm just let my butt kind of go side to side here. This is more of a stretch. I want you to turn that to letting the butt sit on the floor. And turning the butt to sitting on the floor. So again, if I'm breaking down slowly, as I kind of, I guess I move my one leg out of the way, sit down, and then I spin back up by bringing the weight forward toward kind of between my hand and my, and my knee, and back on all fours. So this is, I kind of throw my, turn my hips, and the body will just follow, I hope. You can do it without putting your knees down. It's a little harder. You just kind of let the knees just kind of barely skim the floor. So again, Slow down, take breaks. You've got a good stopping point on each side. Make sure that you're comfortable and you really want your the hands under your shoulders as much as possible because they get really out real far. It's going to be a lot harder. But yes, I'm putting weight into one hand and I should chance the other hand. So now sitting forward here, right back, we're just going to sit here, kind of like we're watching, like in Saturday morning, watching cartoons here, and I have my weight on my hands. Again, if you want to put cushion under one of your hands, that's fine here. I basically right weight on my hands, and I'm going to lift up the legs and let them down. Okay, lift, lift the legs up, let them down. And yeah, and I'm looking for nice straight legs. I can feel the toes pulled in a little bit. Again, but if you have to go back, if you need to go all the way back, kind of to the back, just kind of do it, that's okay. Ideally, obviously, I want more of a V position, but whatever works, I guarantee you, you're going to get a good workout of that one too when you lay all the way back. Up and then down. Now, I bring one up. Other one up, one down, other down. One up, one up, one down, one down. So if it's right up, left up, right down, left down. Don't listen to my don't listen to my pacing, just the instructions of one leg, other leg, one down, other down. At your own cadence.
take a break for a second, come forward, do a little bit of cobbler stretch, cobbler stretch here, that's kind of with the feet, feet together. And just we're just gonna let the diaphragm relax, let the belly relax. Let it breathe. So now, easing it back in that same position again. Kind of same exercise, you have one up, one up, one out, back, out, back, one down, one down. It's about back is to the side. So I bring my right leg up, left leg up, my right leg goes directly out the side, back, left leg out the side and back, right leg down, left leg down. So whatever sequence in that general sequence is okay, I'm looking for nice, big, clear, controlled movements. So I lift one leg up, up, much of it out, back, out and back, down and down. Take as much rest as you need in between. This is a, probably a pretty good one for taking long breaks in between. But when you feel your breath come back, that's when you gotta get go again. So listen to your body, listen to your breath, take breaks when, you're, when your breath gets kind of, when you're kind of holding it. If you find yourself kind of oh, holding your breath, relax, breathe. So, and that's the challenge. As I lift my legs up, up, breathe, breathe, breathe. And I forget the sequence. Turning all, all, all fours now. With 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 two hand what well, I'm assuming your I'm assuming your hand weights will keep your hands off the floor. If not, just just don't do don't do these hand weights. But so looking for here in this in this one here was the bear position here, and I just I'm lifting up, lifting up, kind of a again I could do this without hand weights here. Bear position, all fours. Knees off the ground, and I'm just. And again, this is a hip move. My hip, notice my hip comes up first. My hip comes up first. The rest of my body just follows. That's why I talk about the core being important. So, so with weights or without weights, same thing. Turn the hips. The reason I like the hand weights here is because it kind of gives the wrist a little break from being kind of turned out flat. And I'm sweating. Take breaks in the medium. Okay. Bringing one weight with you, standing up. First thing we do is stand up. We're just going to stretch back, open up, smile. Best you can. So, one weight, stretch out, move the hips, smile. And again, a lot of smiling is just relaxing. After you, during this process, sets, you don't need to be you don't need to be tense all the time. There need to be good times where you're relaxing, let the body just kind of adapt. So this one, I forgot to say, you need your chair or stool. Anything up here? So what I'm doing here, and I'm putting my foot behind on the chair behind me. And first thing I'm just, just getting, kind of getting myself balanced again. So if I kind of angle myself a little further away from the chair, it's a little easier because I have a better kind of balance. A little harder is what I'm is when I'm straight behind the chair. Okay. So one toes on the chair, and then I'm going to do a 
squat on the one leg, and then a press up. So again, you can, by the way, you can do the same thing. You do the same type of exercise here, either on the pad or anything else, by just putting your toe down. So, so, you, so, you, so even if you, don't, if you can't get the raised foot, just put your toe down. You can even put it on the cushion. So it's just up a little bit. I'm doing a squat, and you notice the one leg that's, where it's not, where it's flat on the floor, does a lot of work, and then I'm doing a one-arm press-up. Okay? Obviously, I'd like you to do the little, hard, the little harder one is up on the chair. And again, this is balance. Another way to show it. So you stay on the same leg. I'm switching legs, just trying to give you another angle here. But again, flat back, low as you can go. And, it, and maybe you need to stick in the other, in the other hand here. That's OK. I will tell you one thing that helps is putting a little weight in the back leg during the whole process. Kind of gets me a little bit better balance because if I try to do it all in one leg, we know how that goes. Let's switch legs. Again, in different size, maybe different problems. Our goal is to adjust. Just, just enough. Ooh. Okay. Walk it off. Okay, so that one, it was toe up, either elevated or just on your toe. So right now you're just walking. Coming to front and center, one weight here. I basically need to, usually we do this, we do this behind the back, but right now I just have a weight here in front, lifting up my knee, trying not to bend forward here, lifting up the knee, passing under and down. So try to get that knee as high as possible, then pass it through, and then down. Lift the knee high up. Okay. Switch directions. Actually, don't matter. Let's see. No, there is no switch directions. Oh, let, me just, let me see. I'm just on the fly here. Do go around the leg. Go up. Trying to be vertical. Try to pass it around the leg a couple times in a little circle. Trying not to bend forward. Time for break. Last break here. 22 minute break. Walk it off, walk it. I hope you're sweating. If not, turn up the heat.
Look good from this angle. That one's Why don't I get, we'll kind of just get started, we'll get started here. So I've got one DB here. And I'm gonna kind of hold it in, in, in one hand here. So what I'm gonna do here is right hand and again, a little, a lightweight kind of feels awkward sometimes, but if you notice, this is kind of my hip. So squat, the squat kind of absorbs the, absorbs the energy falling, and then my hip pushes forward. So but I'm looking obviously for a nice where I really throw it with my hip. And that, yeah, the weight is kind of like a pendulum on the end of the string, and your arms are the string. Again, I'm pushing my hips forward here, I'm standing up, I drive the weight forward, I'm just letting, letting use my hips, when I point back, absorb the weight on the way back. Take a quick break here, breathe, big breath, nice big smile, relax the shoulders. So try to tighten up, try, tighten up right here and try to smile. Now relax the shoulders. See how, see how the smile, see how easy the smile is? So oh, again, always good to remind yourself, what does it take to make the smile better? Relaxation, breathing, just a genuine, ah. Okay, now, same swing move, but I want a 90 degree turn in the other way that you didn't do last time. So if I turn to the left last time, I'm gonna turn right. So I have to kind of find a cadence where I can step I'm in one place, just timing my timing my feet to get a kind of small step so I get a turn. Again, I have a nice free movement. I've got the hips going down. Damn, that was perfect. Nice, Kathy. Yep, not, not so high, Kathy. Not so high. Just 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 up just up to up to kind of up to right here, up to, up to about shoulder width, not overhead. Yeah, yeah, that's, 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 a, that's a nice flow with it. I like that. Yep, Mark, you got it. Karen looks good from what you see. Judy, try to stay in one place. You can. Julian. Richard, more sit, more hip, more sit, Richard, more sit, more sit, more sitting down. Put your weight down, we'll come back to them, come in the ground again. So nice flow around here. So I'm on the all fours of the ground. See, what a familiar position. And what I'm gonna do here is you can there's many different ways to do it. You can I'm looking to kind of walk myself up, do a low crouch, hands down, back, all fours. And obviously you can do this as a take a move. You can do this as a step move. Well, I can say you can just walk it up. The key is getting your hips underneath. Again, that involves some flexibility. You may or may not have it. Try. So it's called the frog. We try to get to the frog position here. But I'm down here. <coughs> and Again, I can I can obviously <coughs> jump, which is a little difficult, or I can step, step, and I stay in the low position and I step back. Keep going, nice and slow. Take breaks. So. 
So keep moving. You're still going to Frogger. I'm, I'm not coming all the way up. I'm just staying. I'm staying down in the Frogger position. So sorry, I came, I came up to look at the camera. So I'm down all fours. Step down. And I step back and I take a break. Jump is hard because you have to get your hips out of the way, but it's possible. Okay, walk that off, walk that off. If you're walking. I want to, I want you to see if you can get your get your hips to kind of to move in front as you're walking. Get one hip in front, then the other hip in front. So you're kind of walking like I call I call this door door swing. Door swings to the left, door swings to the right. So the one hip comes forward, other hip comes forward. I'm hinging from one side, almost like, like, but I don't, I don't like that. So. Going back to your two weights. We're gonna do some walking lunges here. And so again, I'd like a couple, I mean, if you can have them up, up, up on your shoulders, you can put them overhead, or you can let them hang, hang, hang down. So, so whatever, whatever's kind of difficult, okay, we're you may do one. So I'm walking here, same thing. Big steps, nice slow down. One of the most important things the lunge here is that your front knee does not go forward. It just goes it's straight vertical, and if I do any bending, it's the back knee. So I'm walking from leg to leg, and again, it's a little harder here. It's a lot harder. It's overhead. I'm walking a little full circle. Again, you can change your arm positions at any point in time. I like a slow, deliberate move here. I can just stop and think about my step in each level, each point in the way. Okay, walking here, just normally here, just let the deep, let the, your hand weight just swing in opposite. So, in fact, let's just stand in one place here and let this weight swing opposite. So we got a nice swing. I should be able to feel it swing all the way to my feet. That kind of rotational move. You should kind of pull against the floor. If you have loose shoes like mine, I guess. My, where I'm kind of, my feet are moving inside the shoe. Okay. Next one here is, a, is, is going to be a forward lunge with a curl. And so I like a forward lunge here. Then a curl. So make them separate moves. Again, I, I'm looking for a forward step more than a deep lunge here. Step, curl, and this time I'm doing same side arm and same side leg. We're doing the same side, and opposite side. So when you step with one foot, the opposite arm does a curl.
take a quick break here. So now we're going to try to make that as a single movement. I, and before I had a broken movement, a step, then a curl. Now you're trying to curl, curl, curl. You're trying to. So right now we're same side again, back to same side. My left and left, right and right, where I'm doing. And again, my butt is going down. My back is going down. I'm not bending forward. Weight is always over the center. And I would do this at a pace that makes sense to you. A nice, slow, comfortable place like this. A little, more, little more deeper, Mark, a little deeper in your step. Take a quick break here. Breathe. So this next one here, when we get when we get started, will be same things. It'll be same time, opposite arm, opposite leg. So as soon as your breath comes back, mine hasn't. So you go ahead and then so as I start opposite. So this. Notice how my I'm staying straight up here. Again, you do a wider stance here if you want a little more balance. Narrow stance is going to be a little more challenging. What's that back foot doing? Is that back foot turning at all? It shouldn't, ideally. I mean, walking forward again, just breathing. Let me come down here. While we're still standing here, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull my shoulder blades together behind and down. So I pull them back and then down and back in again, trying to get them close together. So relax. Pull the shoulder blades together. Tighten, tighten, hold down, and then relax. Don't forget that relaxation part. It's really, really important. The muscles got to have an off position here to let the blood flow again. That's what they're saying. But it's still important. So pull back, down, back, and relax. Back, down, back, and back in again. Relax. And make it a little tense here. I stop. Coming out to the chair out again. We're going to come down the chair and sit. And we sit the time. And basically, I'm going to I'm going to kind of roll myself forward here as much as I can, still sitting. So my goal here is to stay sitting as long as I can, but basically. Roll myself forward and have the much of my weight. I'm rolling forward, trying to keep my butt on the chair, keep my butt on the chair, all over for until I finally roll forward off the chair. So, sitting all my way, all my way down. I have my knees wide, and again, I'm rolling forward, trying to bend from the hip. This is a hip stretch here. I'm bending straight from the hips all the way down, all the way down, trying to bend as far as forward as you can go down. So the butt just comes off the chair. But I'm trying to keep my weight on the chair as long as I can. So I'm sitting, I'm up tall, and I'm just rolling forward here, rolling forward, butt still on the chair, butt still on the chair, holding the butt down as much as I can. So almost like I would have to roll forward on the floor. Again, that, that control, that hip loop, that hip strength here. Because I widen my hips to allow my hip, my, my body to roll forward, keeping my butt on the chair as long as I can, keep my weight going forward before I have to stand up. And while we're here, go ahead and stand up. 
I'm going to have you put the foot up here. And so this is, I've got no weight in the hand right now. I'm just going for form. So I'm bending. And I'm just to this way. I'm bending the weight. Right, right here, what's up here, and pushing the butt back down. See, obviously, you're not, you only, you only get so low because that other leg can hold you up. But I'm trying not to put too heavy, I'm trying not to leave all my weight, I'm trying to put the weight even between the two legs. Heavily, this joint right here, you put your two fingers in the joint, you feel that bend, that crease. You come all the way back up. And we come up, you see the push. And I don't care what you do with your hand, I, I kind of have it here for balance. Let's switch legs. And you, put, you can put your hands in, in the crease here, and you kind of pinch them go down. Trying to keep the weight even between the two legs. Right down. Come all the way back up, push forward, and pushing the butt back, bending, especially the crease chair. I actually had today, in today's workout, a step up using the chair with a weight, but I, I took it out. I thought it was a little bit much for today. You should, you should, you should thank me for not, not killing you that way. Last one here. I'm going to face my chair. I'm going to have chair here. Bring my weight. I'm going to touch my knee. Touch, touch knee touch. So, my, this chair sits over, so I don't really have a license here. Let me put my hands on the chair. So, knee up, knee touch, knee touch. This one shouldn't be very hard. You notice how flat your back is here. That's what you want to practice. You're not rounding the back. Nice and easy. So now I'm going to step wide here of the chair. Wide of the chair. And I'm actually wide. Wide. And I'm putting weight in the chair here. And I'm almost, almost kind of hot. You can make it a little harder or hopping. I'm really just kind of a I can step or hop. And so I have to put weight on hands. Let the hips come up. And I'm rising the hips. That's another exaggeration. Okay, guys. That's an hour of moving. Dennis, you look you look tired. Okay. Smile. You did the workout. Monday. One and done. Brenda, you look sweating like you're sweating a little bit. Nice. We talk. I'll hang around for a little bit. Dennis, thank you.